Good morning. It's not morning anymore. It's <laughs> noon. It's way noon. Buddy. Is it it's noon? Way noon. Yeah. It's deep in noon. So I think we better hurry. It is so 12:30. We, get, yeah, we, we gotta go. We had a rough. We have. To, we all had a rough start. We had a rough. <laughs> we had a really rough start. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Whatever had a, happened. Yeah. So step one. We gotta go get the samples from the factory that came in, right? They just came to my office. That this is the final pre-production samples. Like Puku okay. samples. Puku samples. Nice. This is it. Then after that, we got a Buckster as that uh, McKenna's loaning us just for the sake of it. So we gotta go pick that up. And then after that, we gotta go recharge the BMW that you <laughs> fucked up and left with the lights on all weekend, and now he doesn't turn on. And yes, that means we have a dead battery with no electricity, no horn. Nothing. Look, I ha I am used to automatic lights. I'm not used to having to turn them on and turn them off. It's a first world problem. I'm yeah. sorry. I feel so bad for you right now. And everyone, everyone behind the camera too is like, "Oh no, poor Pedro." I get it. By the way, I felt I feel for you too. I would have forgotten also because I would have too. Every <laughs> modern car has. Can I also suggest if the person who gets it is like, "Dude, I just wanted to help the dogs and it's too much trouble." Let us know that you don't want the car. We'll blow it up and all the profits oh, from that yes, yes. will go into the dog thing too. May I ask one thing? Yes. So we saved a hundred bucks from not paying the guy, right? What guy? The the guy we bought it from. Remember, you wanted to give him two thousand. Oh yeah. Okay, so I saved a hundred bucks. You did. Can we take that hundred and? and put it back into embadging the car? No. Let's go. <laughs> first obstacle of the day. What was our first obstacle of the day? Uh, well, we've already uh, left the battery booster. We're doing great. So, <laughs> this, so now we gotta go back. This is one of the three things we have to do, by the way. <laughs> the main, one of the Just main three things. <laughs> I guess I better make sure we have the key to. For yep. what? We got the key. <sighs> okay. Which, I forgot about that too. Can I tell you something else? Yeah. The car is unlocked over there. Oh. Oh, oh because you can't, there's no battery. Right? There's no battery. Are you serious? So, so it allowed me to unlock the door, and that's when I realized that it, it was dead, is because all the other locks didn't, or all the other doors didn't unlock, but it doesn't let you lock it back. Like there's uh, no way to like twist the key uh, to lock it back. At, at Maybe it's we, a defect in that car. I, I, what did you guys do with the title? Oh, it's in the car. Oh, perfect. Oh, no. Perfect. So, so we have a completely oh. unregistered car with the with title, the title sitting everything. on the street, signed, unlocked. This uh, is not good. Well, let me call my wife and have, I must have her go out and look. Yeah, please. She's like, what BMW, huh? <laughs> What does it say inside there, Ho? Where? The Wax Museum. Yeah, Ho. Well, you know what's funny? They got, you got the Wax Museum on this side, and then on the other side, Madame Tussauds. And then like here's the Guinness real, World Record. Yeah, yeah. Do people still keep track of that? I feel like it used to be a thing back in the 90s. I want to hold a record. Uh, yeah, let's hold it. What record can we hold? How about most money lost on a YouTube channel? <laughs> oh, we definitely, <laughs> we definitely have that record. <laughs> These just came back from where we were testing them for all the no, battery. No, no, no. So this is um, so the factory made a second set of samples. Oh, this is our second set. Of so these yeah. have all the final changes, adjustments Brendan had. Mm -hmm. um, Brendan is our designer, by Brendan, the way. Yeah, and the guy he's who our came partner, up with all the beautiful things. He's okay. Gonna inspect them all, and we are ready to go into production. Okay, I'll be right back. Run! Careful, Farshad. Ah! Farshad he's running. Good. That's literally how he runs. Yeah. There comes Fargini. <laughs> let's not look at him, put him in the back, and uh, let's roll. Let's go. And we'll check him out later. Did you look at him? No. Yeah. So it's going to be a full surprise when we look Absolute at him? Absolute full surprise. Yes. All right. So now, on to McKenna. All I need to do is figure out how to get there. Hey, look what's on the McKenna sign. What? Oh, BMW. <laughs> Just so that everyone knows, we came in, we looked at the car, we talked about it, and uh, <laughs> now someone's gonna bring the keys for it. This is what we're looking at. <laughs> yeah. 718 Buckster S. Bargini is the one who knows the spec. I have so, no idea. Uh, I believe it's a two and a half liter flat four turbo. Okay. I think it's only one turbo, not two turbo. Yeah, normally yeah, think, in four yeah. cylinder yeah. engines. So one turbo, turbo. 345. Right? Yeah, 345. And what was the torque? 309. 309. And it weighs? 
I, I, I want to say it's 3,000 pounds. Around 3,000 Around 3,000 pounds. I, you know, I heard that he drives amazingly, that, that it doesn't feel like it's a four-cylinder yeah. whatever, but I, I'm always skeptical and, about the four-cylinder engine in these cars because it feels so, like, it's doing so much. But, but I you heard feel bad for the engine. Low-end torque is supposed to be what's spectacular. Yes. So zero to 60? I'm gonna say, well, Porsche underestimate, like they- They do, they underestimate it. I, I'm gonna say in real life, real world, four and a half seconds. What do you think? Well, I know what it is. Well, wait, no, but that's published. But what do they say? Well, they say this is four seconds and then, oh. yeah, they say this- is faster than that. Yeah, so, so they say four seconds in this. Uh, the one that's not an S is 4.7 seconds. Whoa, I think, oh, it's, it might be less than four. Launch control. Launch, do you, think, do you think it has launch control? I don't know. Hang on. I don't think it's open. Well, they just I just heard them click it. They must have locked it on us thinking that we were some scumbags. <laughs> if Porsche is publishing that it's four seconds, yeah. I it's can't under that. wait yeah. to try that. That's, That's going to be, be fast. fucking fast. It's going to be really fast. This is crazy. Four seconds on a Buxter S. Yeah. And of course, handling wise, this has to be oh, the best. Mid engine car. Her. And I gotta say, the legs in the back and the tail, I this, love. Yeah, this is sexy. I love. You know what it reminds me of? The Chiron. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. You know, very few cars can get the rear correct. This, this got is it. Gorgeous. Yeah, it got yeah. it. They honestly got it right. This is absolutely gorgeous. No. So this is called a Porsche 959. Mm -hmm. This came out in the 80s. The specs on this car and the things this was doing in the 80s was like mind. Like legendary? legendary. This was doing 0 to 60 like in the mid threes. Holy in, shit. In the, in the 80s. Like the lines on it are just insane. Twin turbo, all wheel drive, ABS, tire pressure sensors, like all this crazy shit that like cars have now. Mm -hmm. this, this, has, this is one of my all time, this is the one, uh, I've, I've never driven one of these. This is a bucket list. What does this cost? Um, about a million bucks. Wow. I'm actually always so obsessed with getting uh, bucket seats in the cars that I never realize how nice it is to have automatic seats in these sports cars. <laughs> Just don't tell anyone though. No one knows that I really like these seats for real. But again, are you ready? First question, am I gonna fit? That's a great question. Perfect. Is that bad? Perfect fit. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, so immediately I was told that that's horseshit unless you press this and put the car in sport. Give it a little rev. Uh, it's oh, super cold, cool, cold, cold. Yeah. yeah. So but it's not our car though. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Yeah. It's making the good good noises back here. It, it it's is. It's not bad. It's not giving me one indication yet. It's a little four banger. It's sounding good too, right? <sighs> it's too early to tell. Okay. I'm gonna be very fair with this. Yeah. There's a, a loader for the turbo right oh, here. Oh, I love that. That's pretty cool. So it indicates how loaded the turbo is and how ready it is and how much pressure it's going through. This is interesting. It's like the car is working already. Yeah. On the engine, like loading it, like in a way it's getting, whatever it is that's yeah. ready, yeah. it's ready to cover up the, the, the weakness of a four cylinder engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The compensa there's, there's, there's compensation for it. But, I, but it's great though. I have a feeling we're not gonna be let down by, this, the, the, by the engine. Like we're not gonna go, ah, oh, it's fucking four cylinder. I hope so. Normally, when you see the car, like when you feel the the four cylinderness of it, it's yeah. at these speeds. I well, guess. that's the thing. That's the thing they worked on is the low end torque, like really low end torque off off idle. So far, it's, so it's good. Delivering the goods. So far, so good. Honestly, I just don't know if this is worth eighty five thousand dollars. Oh, that's how much this is. Yeah. What else can you buy for that? An M4? <laughs> I'm dead right, serious. Right, right. No, no, course, An no. S4. M4, S4. But uh, I don't think the S4 is, 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 is... The S4 is way cheaper. What else can like, you way get? Way cheaper. But you're um, not getting a real sports car. Yeah. Porsche is competing in the levels of Ferrari, Lamborghini, yeah. and those guys. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. The Holy Trinity is the Porsche, the Ferrari, and the McLaren. Yeah. When you're competing against those guys, what other car maker, like McLaren, like Ferrari, makes yeah. a car this cheap? That will let you, know, you they, access they the brand. Yeah, but, but okay, so here's the question to you. This as an entry level into the world of Porsche. 
Is this delivering and is it yeah, worth eighty five and is it worth eighty five thousand dollars? I'm gonna tell you this. For eighty five thousand dollars, this yeah. is my pitch to anyone that has or wants to buy one of these. Yeah. For eighty five thousand dollars, you buy a Porsche, a car that people will think it's a race car with all the same buttons that you find in the Correct. in the turbo, in the GT three, correct, in all of them, right? You're buying a supercar, your your first supercar. Okay, you like for real. Level. Okay. Like for real, you're buying a supercar. Not only that, you're actually buying the car that will feel the best for the price. What other cars a mid engine car like this? What do you think of? base 911 is. I would buy a loaded one of these instead of a 911. Pedro said the same thing. Do you know why? Why? They, they just drive so much better. It, it's all you? a personal preference. I would go with a 911. Of course. And at the end of the day, yeah. no one's wrong aside from no you. Wrong, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the next question, would you take the Boxster or the Cayman? I myself think I, I wish I would have gone with the Boxster. Can I tell you why? Why? You'll go to the track right now with how busy we are. Yeah. Let's say our best bet once a month, right? Right. Is that enough for me to say I need the GT4 super hardcore whatever or do I just need the one car that I can enjoy, relax and drive while I'm outside will also perform mid-engine car without a roof on that looks fucking gorgeous. You do hear the four cylinder, you do hear it yeah. knowing that it is like in the in-betweens, right? Yeah. And I call in-betweens whenever the turbo's not really kicked in yet right. or when you're downshifting and yet there's not the right amount of power behind yeah. it, like that. That was an in-between to me. That's what I call an in-between. That's the thing about Porsche. They're giving you their entry-level car. It's one of the best cars they make. It's pretty fucking legit, though. And no creaking. None, but it's a brand new car. Yeah. Give it, give it some time. Just give it till the end of the day. Right. Now, the floor. now you want me to floor it? cylinders in the in-betweens I just felt the four cylinderness of this I mean it was really working hard also it's very hard for me like riding in these, like a turbo ass and, da -da -da, and then getting into this well that's the problem also you're not <laughs> getting the oh! yeah. I don't know what this means I don't know what that means now this might not have enough juice The dashboard's illuminated now, so it's definitely gaining battery. You didn't have anything when you, when you turn it on, right? Huh? You didn't have any No, 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 there was nothing. The whole dash is turning on right now. So just, just wait five more minutes and the crack fight will finish. Hey, let's hold for audio. We'll be, we'll be able to turn this on. Okay, and it seems like crack these days gets people really mad. Oh no, what's going on the bus? Man, they're getting in the bus. After doing and so he's much crap. Car, and he's taking his cart too. This is why this is why public transportation needs a revamp. Hey, by the way, if this doesn't start, I, I may have to join them. <laughs> wait, hold. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna give it one last try. One last try. All right, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! You did, you did it! Who's your master BMW? Great success. Finally, taking advantage of your car. Why do you get to drive an $82,000 Boxer? Why do you get to drive a G and I have to drive this? Because this is your car. We bought it for you. I don't want Enjoy this. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Why is the tint like purple? So you get home? Yep, see you there. We're finally all ready for this. This is right before we go into production with these. These are the last time we get to see them. If it's perfect, then we go into production, copy paste of right these bags. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. Ah! Holy shit. Actually, you know what? They don't have that toxic smell when you like, you know when you buy something new? I think that one may be my favorite. Brendan and Karen, the designers the of designers, partners, yeah. have way more of these characters designed well, ready to go. We've seen all the other ones. We yeah. even have those yeah. that are, are not a part of this yeah, wave right this, here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, phase two, we'll, we'll bring those and some other characters, but we decided on these four because we wanted to accommodate Girl. boys, girls, boy, and unisex. This is my dude right here. <laughs> this, is, this is my dude, you know why? Why? Because he's lit, look at that. He's got the lit eyes. <laughs> wow, this is so nice. We should spec a Chiron like this. Most importantly, 
these passed every single safety. Well, that's what he was. The, 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 what we were waiting for for the longest for the longest time was we put all of these. They grabbed every single piece of every single different material that's in each backpack, and we tested them all in the lab to make sure that he was not. Uh, he didn't have any shit for kids. Yeah. Like so they can't it, it passed it or, flammability. It passed sharp edges, and then all the materials passed. Carcinic. Uh, yeah, what are they uh, called? Lead and para. Uh, para Something so these are kids safe. That, that was the, that was the number one. That was, rule. The like, that was like I don't want my own daughter having something that we sell. Of course, that I feel good for having. It's so funny. I, lo I love these, brother. This is my favorite. Pretty good, huh? You actually look good. <laughs> it actually looks good on you. Yeah, it looks pretty dope. Just saying, I think I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I love them, dude. I'm a. You look good in that thing. No, I don't look good. You look like you're in your natural habitat. By the way, there are rats and stuff living in here, just so you know. Are you sure? <laughs>